Okay. So we're going to get ready to install the crankshaft. I'm going to set the shims in place. Make sure that they're clean, no, no stuff on them. And I've already wiped out the bearing surfaces with a clean rag, paper towel, cotton towel, you know, something soft. Place. Bearings have been wiped out. Coat it with a little bit of oral. Again, I cap index, so I'll put it on the right direction. See if we could spin it, and we're spinning it, and it's a little, just a little snug because we knew that we undercut it just a skosh, and so I'm going to take these caps off, and I'm going to look at them, and you're going to see a little, little contact. Here's that one. I need that. Okay, uh, there really ain't no shiny spots in that one. That one's pretty close. Okay, maybe just a little bit right there. I see a little bit. I want to look in here, and again, this was the one that tightened up on us pretty good, and we got just a little bit, mm -hmm. okay, and this guy here, just a little bit, see it, mm -hmm. you can kind of see just a little contact, and that could be a little variance in our tool mark, and again, just a little contact, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. so I'm going to get our time saver out here. And we're going to just kind of give it a coat and give it a coat and give it a coat and I'll set the crank back down in and we'll put our bolts back in but we just go down finger finger tight I mean just take her down and sneak up on it real quick because it will be trying to grab some of that babbit and you're going to hear it kind of scraping kind of make a, a rubbing sound and uh, the grit that's in it so we got them back Just go back and forth. Well, right here. Or you need. To yeah. No. Uh, no. You can do it. You can do it. How's it? How's it feeling? Okay. Yeah. 
Tighten up any? Nope. Tighten up any? Nope. Not at all. Okay, nope. good. Drag up any? It's slightly, just all right. a little bit. All right. All right. And that, it's all back to where it was. That didn't do anything. Okay. That did a little bit, but it's back to where it was. Yeah, that's that's the time saver cutting on you, okay? Just rock it back and forth all you need to do. Probably snugged up a little bit there on you. Mm. Yeah, well, but it should have freed right back up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't don't spin it too quick. Don't dry it out. All right. Does it change any? <laughs> Not really. Change any? No. All right. I'm up around 50, 60 pounds there. 50, 60 pounds there. There's 60. How's it feeling? Pretty well, good? Yeah, it feels pretty good, but it, it is stiffer than it was. Yeah. How's that feel? Is it drying out? I mean, you can get it to the point where it'll just dry out on you. Let me run this back one down and see what happens. I already got that one. Just pop her out of there. All right. So now you look at your cap. See, it got a little dry. There on the bottom. See that one stayed wet. wet. So this one's done. I mean, it's yeah. done. They're done. They're good enough. So I'll pop it out of there. We're going to wash everything up, clean it up, oil it up, and put it back together. Okay. Okay, so here's where paper towels and carburetor cleaner comes in. See, see how the bearings look now? Kind of smooths them out. That's where it got a little dry, so there's a little bit of it embedded in there. And when we oil it up and put it, the oil's going to turn a little black because it's a little bit embedded but it'll be just marvelous. Wipe out the caps. Yeah. Let's see, it's went in there and just kind of polished them up. It's dull, but it isn't that bright shiny that we had when we cut the things. But <laughs> believe it or not, that's kind of the way bearings look when you pull them apart after they've been ran. They're kind of gray.
Pretty so, nice, huh? That's what we're looking for. Good job.